Don't do it, Joe. It's not worth it. Be responsible. But what if I screened each individual person, asked them their travel history, and uh, and used protection? That that works, right? <laughs> so it seems like on YouTube, everybody who is currently quarantined is in quarantine with their significant others. I know, Jasper. Ridiculous. Like, did I miss the memo that it was cuffing season pre-quarantine? But also, even if they are single, they are with their roommates, or they are with their families. So I wanted to make this video for those people who are social distancing and pretty much by themselves. I mean, I have Jasper, but I can't talk to Jasper. Even though I talk to him, he doesn't talk back to me. So if you guys are alone practicing social distancing, uh, today I'm just gonna take you guys throughout my day and how I go about my day without going fucking insane. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, so I think the very first thing we need to do is just get some movement throughout our body, especially because we are going to be trapped indoors for the most of the day. Uh, now, I have been doing at-home workouts for the past week and a half. Um, I have a video posted. I also have been going live and doing the workout with you guys. But today, I'm just gonna do some like simple static stretching, call it flow yoga, whatever you want. I'm just gonna stretch. Put on some nice music. Do you like stretching with me? Hello. Look at this guy. Jasper, can you close your freaking legs, buddy? Huh? Can you close your legs? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hello. No, you're just gonna chill like that? Okay. <laughs> All right, so now that I've got my coffee, I think the next most important thing to do is actually talk to people. I think humans by nature are just very social creatures. And if we were to go without talking to a single person throughout this entire quarantine, uh, I think we would all just go fucking batshit crazy and insane. So let's not do that. Honestly, I have used FaceTime more in the last two weeks than I have ever in my entire lifetime. Um, if you can hop on like a video conference, like Skype, Zoom, FaceTime, whatever, you can definitely feel a little bit more of a connection when you can see somebody and hear them. Um, but if they're only able to hop on a phone call, I think that's better than nothing. So hop on FaceTime, hop on Zoom, hop on Skype and just talk to your friends or talk to random people or talk to somebody. And honestly, I would recommend just try your best not to talk about the current outbreak or the pandemic because everybody knows what's going on. Everybody's watching the news. Um, and the whole reason you're talking to somebody is you know, for social interaction, not to see what the latest news is. So yeah, ask them how they're doing. Obviously it's gonna be a, a topic of conversation, but try your best to really talk about something else. Hey Joe. What's up? Yeah, especially because the way I was doing it was by- I've been looking for other creators in Vancouver, YouTubers specifically. Yeah. All right, so just got off the phone with another local YouTuber and it just feels so freaking good to chat with somebody that actually like, also understands, you know, some of the struggles that you're going through, uh, talk about content and how things are changing lately. Um, and it just felt really good. So highly recommend go FaceTime somebody, go Skype somebody, or just go talk to somebody. I think it's really the most important thing you're going to get out of this video. It doesn't matter if you're hydrating well, it doesn't matter if you're moving, if you're not talking to anybody else, like you just really need to talk to somebody. Can you pop? Can you pop? Can you another one? Other one. <laughs> Can you turn? 
Yeah, can you go up? Yeah. Can you give me a present? Where's my present? Who give me a present? <laughs> oh, there it is. Thank you. Gentle. <laughs> Jesus. Another thing I think that is very important is just fueling your body with the right nutrients. Now, I am not saying to avoid all junk food because you know your boy loves sugar. However, if you eat too much of it, you know, all the time, you're gonna have a tummy ache. And tummy aches don't feel good. So feel your body with the right nutrients because your body is a temple. So Jasper, are you ready to go in the oven, buddy? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> This looks like Jasper's doo-doo. <laughs> This isn't for you, buddy. I know it looks banging, but it's not for you. Not for you, because you're a dog and I'm a human, hi. All right, so this is my massive plate of food. I got some quinoa. This is some pan-fried tofu with some honey garlic sauce. Uh, I got some broccoli as well as some vegan sauce. So Jasper, hey, <laughs> this isn't for you. Please, please leave. Uh, broccoli with some vegan sausages. Uh, and then a sweet potato with some vegan butter. Also got Mr. Anthony Angero from Break Through Twitch. Uh, but Jasper, hey, um, Jasper, you just ate. It's okay. Why is it broken? <laughs> Say hello. <laughs> Why? I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going Alright, so I know I just talked about eating nutritious food to fuel your body. However, we still have to treat ourselves. And at the store, I saw these like Magnum almond milk ice cream. Oh my goodness. Oh. Mm -hmm. You know, living alone is actually pretty great because no one's going to judge you if you walk around naked for the entire day or if you just eat like six ice cream bars in one sitting. No one's there to judge you. You can do whatever the fuck you want. I mean, should we because we can of course not you know we are responsible adults but once in a while if you wanna fucking do it all right so once you are done stuffing your face the next obvious thing we have to do is get some work done whether you are working from home like just your regular office stuff that you have to like clock in from nine to five um obviously that's something you have to do or whether it's just some like housework, some laundry, some cleaning, just the shit that we got to get done. Um, I know that personally, if I go through an entire day and don't accomplish anything, I just feel extra shitty about myself. But at the same time, I don't want you guys to think that because you're in quarantine and because you have so much more free time allotted to you that you have to do something or start something new. I know a lot of people like, Oh, I'm gonna take this quarantine time to really start my YouTube channel and they're just kind of really pressuring themselves to start something new and although that can be great um, if you feel that that pressure is you know limiting you or debilitating you then don't worry about it you don't have to do something new you don't have to do something exciting you don't have to be the most productive you've ever been at this time this time is obviously very different um, and new for a lot of us but just try to pick one thing and try to do at least one thing every day. Not 10 things, just one thing. If you wanna do more, that's fine, but start with one. Jasper, do you wanna go for a walk? Yeah? All right, <laughs> hi, all right, let's go. All right, so if you have to go outside, obviously I have a dog and I don't have a backyard where he can just take a shit. Uh, I need to take him for a walk. 
if you must go outside, just make sure you guys are following what your local government is saying, which is pretty much stay the fuck away from people. I found that even now when I'm going for walks, a lot of people are kind of like stepping to the side and I'm kind of doing the same thing. Uh, people are really getting that, what is it, two meter or six feet away from one another. Make sure that you guys are not going outside if you guys are like slightly symptomatic. Really, really try to keep your outside exposure very brief. Don't touch a lot of things. Just stay away from people. Just do your business, do what you gotta do. So yeah, I do think it's important to get some fresh air, you know, as you're socially distancing yourself, especially if you're living by yourself and you're alone, but just, just be smart about it, okay? Just be smart about it. The playgrounds are closed. There's absolutely nobody on the street, which is good to see. Let's go. All right, so I think that's pretty much it for this video. I think at the end of the day, everything still comes down to mindset. You know, you could be sad or angry or frustrated and just, ignore everything and still go meet people, you know, that would be very irresponsible of you. Um, and that would be very shitty of you, especially because this channel is about being less shitty. Recommend you not do that. Or you could view this as a chance to actually work on yourself and, you know, just focus on yourself without any distractions. You know, how often do we actually have a chance to be by ourselves for a prolonged time but yeah at the end of the day it all comes down to your mindset and how you view things other than that i think that's pretty much it for this video if you guys enjoyed it give it a quick thumbs up share with your friends and family and just remember to be less shitty thanks guys